and live. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hey guys, happy you Saturday. Know, you know what, for a Saturday, man, we're freaking, we're early, which is good, 12 o'clock on the dot, just about, 12.03. We, uh, we had a very uh, busy day. We both stuffed our faces with sushi yes. for my mom's birthday and uh, had no... It was delicious. Oh, it was, it was very good. I must have had, I was telling my brother, I must have had almost 20 sushi rolls. Different yeah. kinds. Yeah, at least. Different kinds. Yeah. Like, they name them different types of roll. I couldn't even tell you which ones. You like the volcano roll. Yeah. Very good. And then a whole bunch of these little cakes. One was... Oh, they, they had like a Japanese cake that everybody kept calling cheesecake, but it tasted nothing like cheesecake. I didn't like it. It looked like cheesecake, though. But then they have like these little chocolate, like mousse espresso cakes that are delicious. It's like my favorite thing from there. What's up, guys? Hello, Annette. Hello, Mama Mama. Sushi it's, was delicious. The cake was the best part. It's it's funny because like no matter how stuffed we are, there's we're still room for dessert. There's al there's always <laughs> room for dessert, and then there's always going to be some sort of dinner here to like to cut to to tap off the night. Like regardless of how much we ate or how much we're feeling, at the end of the night we're always going to. Um, Come on here and hang out with you guys and yeah. talk about our day, whether it was a good day or it was a bad day. Bad day, day yeah. It was, today was a good day. It was, yeah, it was a good day. I actually, it's funny, everybody came home and relaxed, as did I. I put on a documentary, um, I fell asleep through it, but woke up and then had to rewind it because I was, it was, a, it was a documentary that I wanted to see for a long time. You Can't Kill David Arquette, it's called. Pretty freaking good. I liked it. You can't kill. That's what it was called. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know who David Arquette is? I do. He um he dabbled in pro wrestling a little bit, and then oh, I the documentary yeah. is about him getting back into it, and then whatever he was trying to prove to get respect from wrestling fans and other wrestlers. It was pretty good. <clears throat> you had cheese pizza and hot wings from the grocery Cheese store jelly. Nice. Nice, and that sounds good. I really didn't have that much sushi, to be honest. I had like maybe like three or four like pieces of like the um, the shrimp tempura roll, but I was I was eating the pork buns and the um, the dumplings and the tempura shrimp. And then what else did I have? Oh, I, don't I had know. like teriyaki vegetables. I had ate a bunch of vegetables mostly, to be honest. Yeah, I, 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 I finished my Diet Coke. Jimmy went ham on I sushi, never, though. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why I was so thirsty. And then <clears> the, <throat> the, the, my drink of choice was not water. It was Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. And I, by the time I was full, I just I sucked that drink down. Yeah. And was debating on ordering another one. And it turns out it's not all you can drink. You gotta pay for no, it. No, re you don't get a free refill, refill on soda. Refill, <laughs> no, I, I just get water. Just because I don't want to feel like drinking something carbonated is just going to fill me up more. Um, if, if it's all you can eat, I'm going to eat all I can eat. One shake down. <laughs> Two more to go. I plan on... I don't know if you guys noticed this last night, but I did damage on my salad. I think I ate just as much... Nah, that's not true. I don't want to say just no, as you much. ate almost all your salad, I ate almost though. all of the salad last You ate almost yeah. all of it. Yeah, um, you get water. Yeah, me too. I just get water with lemon. I'm gonna go live on TikTok halfway through this, okay? So just do your volume, so there's no. My sound. volume's down already. It's already done, okay. Mm -hmm. You love the barbecue pork buns, and that these aren't barbecue pork buns. No, they don't. It's. I don't even know what type of bread this is, but it's very, very fluffy. And then they put like a spicy mayo on there, and it's like a fried piece of pork, and they put some lettuce on there too. Yeah, it almost it looks like a, a, a so Japanese good. version of a Big Mac. It, didn't notice you put pepperoni and garlic knots on your salad last night. I, yeah, seared them up in a pan. Yes, you used, did. Used, basically used garlic knots and cut them up into pepperoni garlic croutons. Yeah, I was just about to say. I think that's croutons. probably why I didn't do that tonight. Tonight was, tonight's dinner is like, just it's pretty, at this point it's a tradition to do pizza on Fridays and Saturdays. So, I'm not going to throw away a Saturday night pizza bang you know regardless Plus if i eat pizza two slices really or three slices yeah i'm sure it's gonna be digging don't wait for me okay well i have <clears throat> i 
and any pasta salad. It's very bright. I'm very sorry. So there's in this anti pasta salad. There's like little rolls of like ham, provolone, and I think it's salami. There's uh, mushrooms, red peppers, black olives, green olives, onions. I'm gonna go on TikTok, okay? Yeah. All right. I've had this before. It's really good. I used a different dressing though than what they gave me. What did they give you? They gave me their house vinaigrette, but I used. Um, I'm gonna make my own dressing. I used the light northern Italian. You hear me? Like my juice, I want to put together a dressing so damn tasty that it's good on everything. You could use it on salad, or you could use it to dip your tater tot. Wrap. Or your french fries. Or a sandwich or some sort of wrap. I want to make a all-purpose dressing. That's what I want to do. So Dressing's not hard to make. No, I know, but I want to do a, my you own like flavor own. combination. Yeah. That, with a different color, too. Maybe I'll make like a red dressing. I didn't realize my battery's almost dead on my phone. That's a good idea. I think, I should, idea. I think I should get kicked. I, sh I think I should start... Um, Start that tomorrow. I think you should. How about that? An old purpose Jamie dressing. Use it for your french fries or use it for <laughs> your salad? Old purpose Jamie dressing. There you go. Jamie's all purpose dressing. There you go, Annette. Well, Annette, what I think I'm going to do is make a video of the juice and not give exact ingredients but show Hello, how, I, how I make it. You know what I mean? I think that's a good idea. Hello, Tansky. How are you doing? Hello, Tansky. Hey, do you, by any chance? Hello, Matt. What's up, Matt? Know the uh, know the the weather for tomorrow? Um, I don't. I know it's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain on Monday. It was. It was. Yeah. Start brainstorming. I have a couple of ideas in in my head. Uh, what did you think? What's up, Jordan? What did you think of Orange Cassidy and Warload? Thought Warload was challenged, challenged but did okay. What did I think of the match? Bro, you look like you're inspired by Randy Savage. Yeah, I love Macho Man. Um, what did I think of the match? Uh, it's a match that, you know what? Here's what I'll say about the match. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poop on it. I'm going to say this. It's a match that I wasn't expecting it to go that way. Meaning, Orange Cassie decided to act like a heel. And Hello, doll. I just, it would, I, would, I thought it was a little bit too, too much of the goofiness um, from the start. Then it got into it, and I'll tell you one thing, Warlord could move. Hey, uh, Mom and Perk. Why am I having... Hey, MB. Hello, guys. Hey, MB. I miss somebody else. Yeah. Hello. Good morning hey, from Oatree Finland. From Finland. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Well, I guess you could say good morning. Yeah, it is morning. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't want to... I'm going through something... Ah, that was my hair. Going through something new where I don't want to... Whether I like something or not, I don't want to... I don't want to crap all over it. I want to give a positive uh, on top of it. I uh, love the tropical headband. Ah, thank you. I like it too. That sounds I like it fire. too. Pink and blue is a color I haven't done like this in a while. And anything with palm trees, it's pretty much got my attention on it. Bottom line, where's the ranch? Chad, I don't have any ranch mm -mm. tonight. Don't need it. It's going to be pizza and salt. If I'm feeling frisky <laughs> and feeling like I uh, need to spice things up a little bit, I do have a small cup of marinara sauce. You know what I mean? But no ranch. No ranch tonight. I do have a couple Bud Lights though. How's your salad? Good? Oh, my salad's really good. It's really, really good. That works. I forgot how good the salad is. Because I never get it anymore. I've got it like once or twice. I think my hair should be dirty enough tomorrow where I can move it. Right now it's still so fluffy. Because I had to wash it. So... Another day or two should be dirty enough where I could just poof it and it stays. Oh, hello, Kelly. How are you? Hey, Kelly. Salad homemade or store-bought? Um, Polish, this came from the pizzeria. Yeah. 
Weekends, there's not a whole much. There's not a whole bunch of cooking. There's a lot of reheating. I usually pick one night a week where I don't cook anything because last night I cooked my own meal. So tonight I didn't cook my dinner. I ordered it out. Pizza's good. Hello, Chicken Mickey. Hello, Natalie. How's everybody doing tonight? Anybody joining us for pizza? Or snacking on some chips or popcorn? I know one of you guys are eating. Picking your hand in the bag right now, or the bowl. Oh, that didn't taste good. What? That? Yeah, it tasted like something was bad. That would throw me off. I wouldn't even eat it. Have some pizza, Kagi. Let's just have a pizza night. No, the salad was good, but I had some of the meat, and the meat didn't taste very good. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Do we ever go to concerts? Popcorn. We used to back in the day. Not anything recently. We don't go out much anymore. If we're not leaving the house to go to work or to exercise or go grocery shopping, it's rare me and Kaki go to like concerts or... Before we had kids, yeah, we, we were going to time. concerts all the time. All the time. A rib feast? They're nice. I think maybe... Oh, nice, Kimberly. I think me and Kat will try to make it to Jones Beach this summer. I want to go see Steve. Well, that's kind of hard to do. 12.14 is our time, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, that's going to be a hard night. We don't have a babysitter that no. night. Because your parents are going. <laughs> My parents are going to see Sticks at Jones Beach yeah. this summer. I'm really jealous. And I want to go. That's a, that. If there was, I mean, I don't know the Jones Beach lineup, but they usually have some really good bands that I would I would love to see. If, oh shit, um, was, did she say, was Heart playing? Heart. Oh no, she's not thinking about a cover heart. band. It wasn't heart. It was something else. Is your necklace a slice of pizza? Randy, it is. Yes, it is. Want a close up of it? Courtesy of me and the kids. I'll give you a, Yeah, Kaki and the kids got this for me for um, either Father's Day or my birthday. I don't remember which one. Oh, but it's birthday. a pepperoni slice. <clears throat> thinking about only using it on the weekends when I'm actually eating pizza. And not making it an everyday thing. Uh, you should start stuff. So. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I know I'm getting a lot of lot yeah. of asks about me selling the headbands. Neither one of us are in our forties yet. Yet. Oh, thank you for the TikTok hat. Whoever sent that, thank you. Thank you, Annette. And yeah, thank you guys. Christine asks, "What do you guys spend on groceries per week? A lot. A lot." Hi guys, good to see you. How are you? We're good. Gray, Gray Witch. We're good, girl. How are you? We used to be really smart, and we would make a grocery list, and Kaki would go to the store, or I would go to the store. Oh, thank you, Annette. We appreciate that. Like we would go shopping on the weekends, and it would be good. So the only uh, ingredients we would need to go to the store for would be for like fresh fruit or fresh or fresh hey, vegetables. Fresh vegetables, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, head pants and red dressing sounds like a winner, right? <laughs> Kiddos eat separate dinner. Well, usually, yeah, they yeah, don't. Yeah, because we they're eat. not going to eat what we eat. I usually make them a kid-friendly dinner. Although sometimes. Or some will be like, Mommy, what are you eating? Can I try it? And then I'll try it and he'll like it, so I'll make it for him the next day. I'm sorry, Sarah. Can you read what Sarah said? Hey, do you? Hey, did you ever see those movies where the Navy SEALs flip backwards out of their boats? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, off the top of my head, I don't know a movie. <clears throat> Do you know why they roll backwards? No. I don't. It's good. But I have a feeling you're going to tell me why. <laughs> um, what type of bands do we, we like all kinds of music. Yeah, we like a whole bunch of different types of music. Not specifically into one yeah. genre. Like I remember, I remember when I was, when it comes to music. I remember when I was younger, 
like in school, it was like, hey, what kind of music do you like? And the typical answer was either, it was always one, it was like rock, rap, pop, disco, whatever. Now, I think everybody has like such an open mind of what they like to listen to. You know, it's, it doesn't matter if you're embarrassed of the artist, no one cares. Everybody's yeah. somewhat, I mean, sometimes you get that, you know, that, that's the stiffy that's gonna judge you on what you listen to or what you wear. But most of the time, everybody's like, oh, everybody just do you, do what you what you like. To digest the food you're eating, that's why people dream a lot. Maybe. I don't get it. I think it has to do with accumulating their breathing tanks to the water. Oh, I saw. <laughs> well, I saw what they said. They said if they flip forward, they would land in the boat. <laughs> And I get that. That's funny. Hey, from South Carolina. Hello, sweet Southern Spice. Hello. As we get older, you should only eat in the morning. Or before 6 p.m. Oh, well, yeah, Cindy? I guess that depends on the person. I know plenty of people that don't eat after a certain amount of time, but we're not those kinds of people. Nope. We're still young. We're still, uh, you know, we don't, we haven't got that far where... We're not, I don't want to say worried about it, but this is such a routine for us that it's Thank, kind of I was of about normal. to say that, like, this is our routine. This is what our bodies know. So regardless, I think, of how old you are, you train your body to do something for long enough, they're going to know, like, your routine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, my mom is one of those. Um, she doesn't eat after a certain amount of time either. But my mom also is on, like, a weight loss journey herself. She lost a bunch of weight. When y'all hit 60 years old, you will know what I mean. Yeah, but... If I eat or drink after 6 p.m., you live in the, I assume, bathroom. Here, here, Here's the thing. And I get that if someone... I don't think your body knows time. Food is food. Calories yeah, are calories. Exactly. Your body doesn't know time. Your body knows what time you put food into it. Like, it knows, like, oh, it's time for me to eat. Oh, now it's time for me to sleep. Let me... That's how Hold we on. trained our bodies. Let me end this conversation right now. Because no matter what I say, no matter what Kat says, no matter what someone comments, there's no right answer. Someone's always going to have a, an opinion, and someone's always also going to think that their way is the way. There's no way. This is how what we believe. There's no way. You do what, what works for you. You know what I mean? I'll never tell someone, hey, eat your dinner at midnight, and that's it. And I'm never going to say, don't eat dinner after 5 o'clock. I think everybody should do what they need to do. Whatever works for them. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Ah, thank you, Joshua. Headband is rad. I like it a lot, too. <clears throat> whatever works for the individual, exactly. <clears throat> That's what I said in the beginning, whatever works for you. I remember my mom telling me, like, you gotta stop all that late night eating. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Not good for you. Like this is like when I was like I don't know in my twenties, like in college. Yeah. Like I really wouldn't eat all day, and then like I would we would go out to like dinner like with after class like with your friends. Thank you, Natalie. And that's what we would do. And she's like, "Well, that late night eating isn't good." <clears throat> my body was like, "Whatever." Like that's the only food I eat for the entire <clears throat> day. Exactly, Star. Opinions are like buttholes. Everyone's got them. Unless you're a conehead. If I remember correctly, coneheads didn't have a butthole. <laughs> I don't think they did. Hello, Kimmy. No, they have How like are a, you, girl? What did a conehead have? Conehead had something different. The world would be a better place you, if Kenny. we all lived what works for you. You are 100% correct. There are no grown-ups. I agree with that one, Hello, too. Hello, Tweety. How are you, girl? What's up, John? I think every I, here. That's a part. I mean, listen. Yes, there are people that are older and there are people that are younger, but I really do believe that you technically never grow up. I think in your head you still feel the way you felt when you were a kid. Oh, thank you, Tweety, for the gift. Thank you girl. for the heart. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel like an adult. I have adult responsibilities, but I, I don't feel like one, nor do I want to act like one. I was just about to say, you don't act like an adult. Uh, Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'm still looking for Never Never Land. Hello, Danielle. 
Thank you, the doll, for the gifts. Yeah, thank you, guys. I'm 45 and you feel 25. Exactly. It's not about how old you are. It's about how old you feel. At the end of the day. Have a piece of pizza because I'm not eating all this. Not eating all this. I'm, I'm I think I got... I feel 25. Good for you. I think I got one more slice of pizza in me. Because if you're just joining, uh, we had sushi for... We had sushi for uh, lunch today for my mom's birthday. And we ate a lot. I act like a kid and that helps me stay honest with myself. Yeah. Age is just a number, I agree. I don't think there should be an age. I really don't. Uh, your videos are very awkward but interesting. Thank you, Tyler. I like to keep it real. Give you guys a little glimpse of um, you know, what I like my nightlife to be. You know, this is fantasy world for me. So. Thank you again, Tweety. Thank you, girl, for the gifts. <sighs> um, what are you adding on the pizza? Just salt. Mm -mm. <sighs> oh, I almost want to put my shirt on. Khaki and the balsamic. That's right, Polish. I will never part from my balsamic when it comes to pizza. Yeah, and that all you can eat sushi. You put, you, they bring you like a, this iPad. Yeah, you get like an iPad. You look at you... the menu, you type what you want, mm -hmm. and then they bring it out to you. Is that they, balsamic? Yes. And they bring it out in small portions, right? And Yeah. I must have eaten, I don't know the exact number. but You it, just kept ordering sushi roll, sushi roll, sushi roll. I ate almost 20 sushi rolls. <laughs> but here's the thing. I don't eat, like, the sushi rolls that Jamie orders because there's, like, fish in there. I don't like fish. But I'll eat, like, the shrimp ones and the avocado ones and the vegetable ones. Like, the, he was ordering all of Thank these, you, Angela. like, really weird rolls. Sushi is life? Yeah. I, I think sushi's really good, and it's one of those things that I don't eat a lot. Actually, uh, I don't think you ever thought you would like sushi. No. Nope, never thought I would I would like sushi. And sushi was the in thing when I was like right before I turned twenty one, sushi started becoming popular. You should make your own sushi rolled up in pizza slices, Chucky. <laughs> here's the deal. As we are eating sushi, I'm looking at the stuff they were bringing out and I have a whole bunch of ideas. So yes, yeah, something like that will be coming. <laughs> of course. I didn't even tell Kat. True story, I'm looking at all the stuff in front of us. I'm like, I got an idea. Hello from Do Dotona Beach. Hello from Daytona, how are you? Hello, Melissa. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna say I'm forcing myself. Oh, we got lights, thank you. I don't wanna say I'm forcing myself to eat. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, this might be get this might be one of those headbands that I've gotten the most compliments on. Hello from Australia, welcome. Oh, thank you again for the gift, Tweety. My my ankle accessory matches. Bro, you're so see generous, it? thank you. A little bit different, but this is what's wrapped around my ankle. Not an ankle monitor. No tracker, see? Fabric. No show your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I got I have to stand up. I'll show you my ankle too. <laughs> <laughs> just a black headband so it goes um uh, it goes it separates the whiteness for the sock eat with your can jamie eat what you can eat what yeah. you can your headband goes with the lighting yeah yeah i'm happy with this one tomorrow is going to be got it's... that 80s feel and that's made me come back with the stranger things oh yeah because of Stranger Things. Yeah, Stranger Things is a great show. Never seen... I do, I've never seen it. But apparently I picked good music from the show. Mm -hmm. That Journey remix you, you used. That's what everybody was saying. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody was saying. Here's the deal, guys. Those of you that are saying that this feels very 80s, it feels very 80s because I don't like the 2020s. I don't like the 2010s, the 2000s. You just don't like the 2000s. No. 
I don't like anything after 1995, if I'm going to be frank with you. You were in, like, what, fourth grade? After 1990, I'll go as far as to say 1996. That's when I'm like, okay, this is the world's getting too complicated. Oh, hello, Kathy. Hello. Welcome. Glad you finally caught a live, bro. The 80s rocked. Well, I was born in the 80s. Yeah. So, like, what I remember from the 80s is, like, late 80s. Greatest wrestling faction ever? Why is it the Hart Foundation? LOL. Why isn't it the Hart? I mean, yeah, no. I I would say greatest wrestling faction of all time. Hart Foundation. Yeah. Hart Foundation or the NWO. Original NWO. After six comes in there, it gets too much. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be in here. We're happy to have you in here, Kathy. I'm happy to have you here, girl. <laughs> Jimmy Jim was in here, like, all over the four horsemen. What are you, crazy four horsemen? Uh, just seen Motley Crue. Yeah, how was the concert? Because everything everybody's posting from it's like it's I mean listen everybody's got an opinion yes but apparently What's the overall opinion apparently the opinions that I'm seeing aren't great. Where's the pup that would jump up? Oh, he's oh he's sleeping, not thank here God. tonight. Thank God. What a pain in the butt he was last night. He's such a pain in the ass. He needs a night off, and so do I. Because all he does is jump on me. He's so cute, and a very, very love, like very mushy dog. But when there's food involved, he just wants it. He don't give a shit. He's like, it's mine. I'm taking it. I don't care if you give it to me, but I'm just gonna take it. I thought I heard him <laughs> coming down the stairs. I'm like, oh Jesus, you guys are talking about him, and he's like, okay, it's dinner time. <laughs> you summon the beast. You know. <laughs> He wasn't what a very good button. No, he say? wasn't. What, that button? It says the F word. Ba I, dead. No, I don't have batteries in it. I do have another button. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, hello, Melissa. What's your weather right there? Um. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hello, Sarah. The weather, uh, what is it, like 85? Today it was cloudy. It wasn't really sunny. It kind of like sprinkled here and there. What are you doing up late, Missy? Isn't it past your bedtime? Yeah, you probably have neck and shoulder. Yeah, I do, Annette. Because all I do is do this. Push the 85-pound dog down. All damn dinner. I'm drunk. Are you? Miss Sarah. <laughs> When's the wedding? Our wedding? Not planned. We're in no rush. February 30th. Of 2024. I'm sure there'll be a wedding and I'm <laughs> sure it'll be streamed or broadcast somewhere. I think I'm playing them. That's right. That probably would happen. Sure, it's got to go back on. <clears throat> you guys are awesome. Good relationship. Takes work. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. <clears throat> Do you ever snack while you cook? No. 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 Hey, Nelson. When's the wedding? Mount Pert? I don't know, girl. I don't know. Uh, what? When the wedding is. Yeah, no, we don't have it planned. If there ever will be one, there might not. We might be that couple that is boyfriend, girlfriend for life. For life. You know what I mean? Dang, perfect weather. What state are you in? Don't mind. Oh, we're from New York. Hey, Carolyn. We're from New York. You know Hello, what I mean? Carolyn, Some... my friend turned 30. So his wife threw him a surprise party. So you drank the drinks, girl. You go. You go, bro. Listen, some... We're not against marriage at all. No, we're not against some it. Some people, it's just not very important to them. doesn't matter. You know? Um, that's kind of where we're at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Planning a wedding is not important to us. Leaving New York is important to us. That's like uh, the number one goal right now. Maybe when we get down to Florida, we'll do a little something, something. 
um, right under a palm tree. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Very simple. I know the perfect palm tree was right in front of a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, the first day we were in Florida and I went for my first run, the first thing I did was like, I saw that I was up close and personal with a palm tree, and right in front of that palm tree was a McDonald's. It was great. It's not that important for me. 36, been with my husband for 12. And it works right now. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. We've been together for almost 16 years. And we've been engaged for 14 of those 16 years. So. It's to the point where I think if we did tie the knot and get married, we'd probably jinx, jinx something. It. Yeah, I feel like something bad divorced. would probably happen. Kaki would take me for all I have. I'm like, okay, I knew it. All She's... his ring lights, all his LEDs, I'm taking them for it all. <laughs> he finally got discharged today. We're home, but baby couldn't come home today because of... Nick you. She's coming but home she's tomorrow. coming home tomorrow, aka. Oh, okay. Did you? So wait, you guys are are home. Yeah, the baby couldn't leave. Why? Why didn't uh, Isabella stay with her? You can't. What? You can't. Really? That's what happened to me when I was a baby. I couldn't leave. My, they discharged my mom, but I couldn't leave. But can't. Hold on. You're gonna tell me. If the baby's not ready to go home, the mom can't stay. That nope. doesn't sound right. No, that doesn't sound right. Um, that MB, is one hundred percent correct. Is that a no? It's a. I don't even know what kind of shirt it is, but no. I can't see my last name. <laughs> Insurance only covered one more night. Oh damn. Yeah, you can't. You can't stay. I don't know. I wouldn't leave. You'd be sleeping in the parking lot. I wouldn't leave. I would be at... Yeah, there's no freaking way. 100% correct, Kathy's right. Yeah, because that's what happened to me. Like, when I, when I was born, I was severely underweight. And I had to stay in the hospital for a week after my mom went home. Two days longer than it? Wow. I don't know. I... See... Okay, so... I, okay, I guess I'm just... I don't know. I personally... You don't have a choice. You can't stay. Oh, I would have been. You have the, visiting have hours. Yeah, for... I would have been in the parking lot. Well, at least she gets to come home tomorrow, right? I was, yeah. I would have stayed my ass in the parking lot. Yeah. See, thirty days. So thirty years ago, my daughter stayed two days longer than I. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Uh, what is? How do you pronounce that? NICU. NICU. NICU is that Neo how? Neonatal intensive care unit. Wait, what does that mean? Where they need extra special care. It was like, at least we can get a phone call on the AM and we're picking her up. Okay. Yeah, and you can call all night long. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. That's what happened to my friend's Dawn, my friend Dawn's um, uh, daughter. They couldn't take her home right away Hold either. on, Melissa. So you both... Oh, how am I going to see this? So you both have a secret... Do you both have a secret to a great long relationship? Or any tips? Well, our first seven years wow. were, were, were our, oh, longer than that. Our first ten years was brutal. Say that we had any secret Here, tips. No anything. secret tips. We we kind of just put up with each other. Because the first couple of months, and I always say this, the me and Kat's first couple of months together, it was it always wanted to be with each other, and then we got to the point where we were with each other so much that we were sick and tired we're of, sick each, of each, other. each other. And I told her how I felt, and she told me how she how she felt. And there was many drunken nights of yeah. throwing each other's shit out the front door. <laughs> and it got to a point where we just, we, 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 we stuck it out for many, 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 many years. I had our first kid. It got better. And then once we started getting healthier together, we got very close. Very close. Best friend status kind of deal. Um... But hey, you know what? We still fight. I just told her today as we were driving home from sushi. I'm like, oh, yeah, he piss me face. off. Because he hates my face. I didn't say that. You did. Did I? And she looked at me and she goes, she goes, are you playing with me right now? And I just started laughing. <laughs> so, gotta have fun. Gotta be honest at the same time. Oh, my God, my knees oh, you are... You can't really see it. It's Bertoli. False on the clothes. 
and and that's one of the, one of the things. Like we weren't fighting; it was just us playing around. But at the same time, like she was looking out the window, stuffed from sushi, and for me to come out and say, "I can't stand your face," she's like, "It's like it comes out of nowhere." Yeah, I looked at. I was like, "Are you serious right now? Because I'm about to punch you in the face." <laughs> I don't care that you're driving. Because she you gotta has, have fun. Yeah. She had a C-section. A lot of fluid went into her lungs. If she would have pushed out the fluids that came out since, since she swallowed hey, some of it. So they had to give her care. Understandable, Nelson. Because that's kind of like what happened to our son and why he had to have tubes in his ears. Because he was stuck for so long that he wasn't pushed out the birth canal and all the fluid wasn't expelled like it was supposed to be so that's awesome khaki love totally you both understand. oh thank you melissa communication and comedy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but i but i always went because we always get complimented on how good our relationship seems and it's good but it's not perfect no we fight like cats and dogs we have days and nights where we do just don't want to see each other and i do the smallest thing to set her off and she just does. She does the same thing. She could make a comment or, or do something that sets me off, and it's just like, uh, you know, you know how like the brother sister uh, relationship is, something like that. So, uh, but she's eating and no more wires, tubes, or anything. So tomorrow, either morning or evening, picking her up. Yeah. And ain't putting her back down. Good for you. Yeah. I would say get a good night's sleep. Because you guys are going to be gonna, a while. You're going to need a good night's sleep. It's going to be hard for you to sleep, though. You being home and the baby not being there. You're, you're not going to sleep. Just, you're not going to sleep, but at least try. <clears throat> try to get some sleep. Because oh you're God. definitely going to need it. Oh, Nelson, you know what I told Kat? <clears throat> um, I saw a picture of your Instagram. Oh, my holy crap, Nelson's hair got long. Mm. No braids, just bonded it yeah. up. Yeah. Looks good. Keep it up. Don't cut it. Sounds like an old married couple. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I hope you heard me. That was that was. Uh, I liked uh, how your hair looks. Looks pretty cool without the braids. She's knocked out. She's exhausted. Oh, I'm sure. Well, she had major surgery. She's yeah. exhausted. That's not fun. That's not a fun. Thirty years, huh? Cali pups. It's a long time. 90% love, 10% uh, uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say me and Kaki is like 50 50. 50 50. I'm like today with the Apple TV when we got home. Oh, I never wanted to smack you so hard with the Apple TV. I was TV. doing it on purpose though. Oh, I know you are. I'm like, where are you going? I'm like, I have to get the Apple TV from the kids' room. No, Nelson, don't <laughs> cut it. It looks good. It looks good. Don't cut it. Like, even if you are too lazy to get it braided, um, just putting it up like that is good. How old was I? I think I was, I was 28. I was 28 with my first, and then I was 30 with my... No, wait. Hold on. Let me think. Hey, Cody, save me a slice. I can do you better. I can save you, too. Yeah, I was 28 with my first, and then I was just about 30 with my second. All right. I appreciate that. Oh, you're very welcome. Pay a compliment when it's when it's due. And a man with a nice head of hair, if I see it, I'm going to compliment Jamie you. will appreciate it. <laughs> There's something about hair that gets me wild. Some people, some guys will like look at a girl's body and, and it'll be a nice set of you know what or a nice bottom. Um, it's hair, guys and girls. And good volume hair, just bouncing, healthy. Doesn't have to do much, just the way it moves. It's just... I'm a big hair guy I guess because I don't have the best head of hair it's like a jealousy thing and I know I'm so I'm sure one of you guys that are watching me right now are probably bold and can't even grow hair and you're like you <laughs> son of a biscuit like you don't even talk about <laughs> but what's up Sherry I'm a big oh, hair guy I love Sherry. hair <clears throat> I'm eventually gonna suck it up go to a, like a salon and say act as if I was a 25 year old female model do what you can do for volume and <laughs> uh but your beard is epic thank you yes he does have a nice full beard and he always has yeah well appreciate it <laughs> he has so much hair 
for newborn. Must get it for me. <laughs> Both of our kids were born with a full head of hair. Our son looked like a little hairy monkey. He had hair all down his back. Mm -hmm. So did our daughter. <laughs> yeah. Looked like she had hair on her back for a long time. <laughs> Nothing. Just watching all before bed. Well, I hope you have a nice night. Got any big plans for tomorrow? <laughs> Sunday? Mm, well, uh, we don't. No, tomorrow's relaxation day. Uh, I, I, you know, I didn't get to do a couple. I want to do a couple things on here. I want to pick up a couple palm trees tomorrow for this corner for the videos. Uh, balloons. They're like balloon palm trees. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about putting... And here's for... This is only... Actually, I'm not... I'm not even gonna say it because that's probably not gonna happen. Put a palm tree up here, and then this Aww. one right here is deflated, so I'll actually get a new one. Oh, well, thank you, Lala. Thank you for that. What? It says I have the best hair. Yeah, thank Kat's you. got a nice head of hair. I got the Macho Man thing going on right now. Not happy with it, but at the same time, use the headband to cover it up. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. <laughs> yes, Nelson. She is all Isabella. She definitely is all Isabella. Her face and everything. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Apparently, they're going back up. They're go. They're, what is it? TV. Uh, their their ratings are going back up starting this Monday. Apparently, they're going back to TV fourteen. So maybe getting a little bit edgier. Oh, I don't see. think. Here's the thing. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna stay on this subject because I know a lot of people that watch us are not wrestling fans, and I don't want to take up the rest of our, our time with talking wrestling, but. I don't think the problem is the stuff that they're allowed to say and do on TV. I think the problem is back when wrestling was cool, in my opinion, and I loved wrestling, they all looked like men. They all sounded like men. They didn't look like they're fresh out of high school. You know? Like boys. They didn't look like boys. They all had big muscles on top of muscles. They had a character and, you know, whatever. But it looked, it looked real. It look, from a simple punch or a kick, someone getting it bad in the corner. Look at the way their head would jerk when they would get whipped or hit. You know what I mean? It all looked a lot different. There was a lot of emotion. What they were saying felt real. Didn't feel like they were reading a script. So, uh, Jamie, my hubby agrees with you. I bet a lot of wrestling fans are going to agree with what I just said. It's the truth. It's the damn truth. Now, a lot of the guys now are also extremely good athletes. Not taking that away from them. But no one looks or sounds like, you know what I mean? Like somebody from the 80s, 70s. I'm going to go and stick with 80s. 80s. Uh, but that's my two cents. Uh, not good actors. No, definitely not. No, everybody wants to... Not everybody. I always say that. But a lot of... You know, the mentality of a lot of the sports entertainers now is go to WWE and then follow The Rock's path into movies or become a singer. Use, um, you have a good night, Sherry. Thank you for stopping in, girl. Yeah, good night. Use WWE as a platform to launch myself into my real passion. A lot of the wrestlers nowadays that are on TV, their real passion isn't wrestling. It's something else that they're using wrestling to... Um, launch and get noticed and doing something else so it's sad but it's the truth you know what else could I say uh, gotta go to sleep good night yeah we're gonna go to bed too yeah we're I've gonna got go a to <clears throat> listen to this I've got a cookie uh, corner excuse me that's gonna be epic tonight I'm trying a uh, it's the same chocolate chip cookie cupcakes, right? But I have the, um, a Ben and Jerry's strawberry shortcake ice cream. I thought it was cheesecake. Yes, you're right. Strawberry shortcake cheesecake ice cream that's going on top. Salad was good. I didn't touch my salad. Not my one bite. salad was good. Well, What's I'll up, save user? that. I'll save that for our son. He'll eat it. He's probably up right now. Hey, Buckkiss, you want a salad? No? He might not be. I see his foot moving. All right, you ready for bed? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Hello, Julie. For a creation. Uh-huh. Doing something good tomorrow night. Can't wait. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Tomorrow. I know. Good night, guys. Always get you pulled towards the end. <laughs> have a good what? night, guys. Melissa's good night, guys. Always gets us 